As they slowly drip onto cave floors, the mineral-laden drops of water that form stalagmites create an archive of the changing climate outside the cave. These stalagmites, from Ale Kurd, a cave in north-central Iran, contain a record of precipitation in the Middle East from 70,000 to 130,000 years ago. Researchers at the University of Miami Rosenstiel School took samples from different points along the stalagmites and analyzed the oxygen isotopes. That helped them reconstruct the history of rainfall in the region over time. Cycles of wet and dry periods corresponded to the Earth's angle to the sun and the amount of solar energy it received. Savag Matarian spoke to us via Skype. So as the Earth moved closer and further away from the sun in thousands of year time periods, it would receive more energy, and this energy would actually be able to evaporate water in the Mediterranean Sea, and then it's that water that would eventually feed into the region of the Middle East as rainfall. And so we saw precisely this kind of record in the stalagmites that we measured. This pattern, from maximum solar energy to today's minimum and back, repeated roughly every 20,000 years and was a worldwide phenomenon. We actually compared directly our own findings with that of the North Greenland Ice Core Project, which is one of the uh, very famous ice cores from Greenland, as well as um, a deep sea sediment record from the Atlantic, which looked at little microorganisms that lived in the sediment and also looked at, again, the same kind of oxygen isotopes in there. And what we found was that we see the same exact record recorded in all of these different mediums in vastly different regions of the world. And while it might seem that more solar energy would create a warmer, wetter world, Matarian explains there's a difference between energy from outside the planet and heat-trapping gases from the surface. It's a different mechanism of heating that's not able to actually warm up any of the water enough to evaporate it in a way to actually Uh, cause beneficial precipitation to the region. The research, published in Quaternary Science Reviews, predicts a dry spell likely to continue for the next 10,000 years. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News, Washington.